Welcome to AutoDS. The next step after connecting your account will be to move all your Untracked listings to the active listings page, which basically means to have them monitored. All your listings will appear on the Untracked listings page, clicking here on the red button, or from the left side menu, clicking here on the tab Untracked listings. Once you're on the Untracked listings page, you will see the information that AutoDS could gather about your listings. So we will have the eBay item ID, the SQ, sell item, SQ ID, item attributes, the sell site, if it's the correct, uh, if it's the correct one, picture, title, and so. To have these two listings monitored for price and stock changes, I will need to add the source site. So I know that this one is from Amazon and this one is from Banggood. I go to Amazon and I will use the AutoDS helper. I will put a link at the bottom for you to download. If I click on the AutoDS extension, I'll be able to click extract and get the ASIN of the product. I copy it and I go back to the Untrack listing page and I paste it right here. Next thing I need to do is to select the source site. This is Amazon US and that's how I leave it. Now I need to go and, ha and do the same for my Banggood product. I go to Banggood. And I do the same here, okay? I click Extract and I am able to get the item ID. Please note that here we're talking about a variation item. I currently only want the blue, the sorry, the white variation that is monitored from the USA warehouse. So I click USA and I click the white and right here at the bottom, I'll be able to see a longer number. This is the main item ID, this part, and this is the variation. So I would like to copy all of it. This button right here also comes from the helper. So I can copy it, go back to my Untracked page, paste it, and choose now Banggood. After I chose Banggood, it will ask me which warehouse from Banggood, the US or the China one. This is the US one. Once I'm done, I can click Update Assins, and the system will now move them to be on the active listings page, and they will be monitored for price and stock changes. If you have more than 10 listings, you can do this action with a bulk CSV file, and I will leave an, uh, a link to show you how to do it with a CSV file. Thank you.